Friday's attacks have brought the Syrian refugee resettlement debate to the forefront. The White House wants to allow 10,000 refugees into the country. That was the plan in September. Today, Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson said the U.S. should keep its commitment to welcome these refugees, especially from Syria, because they are the most vulnerable right now. The mayor of Cincinnati's initial statement about the refugee resettlement process ruffled some feathers around here this week. He's trying to reassure community leaders now, and that is part of what's being discussed at a meeting underway in Clifton. WLWT News 5's John London is live there tonight for us. John? Yeah, Mike, the interfaith community is meeting here at Hebrew Union College to explain the resettlement procedure, get good factual information about it out there, and no doubt confer about Mayor John Cranley's outreach to them essentially saying he reacted in haste. A contrite mayor now saying he probably shouldn't have said anything in the first place. Quoting John Cranley today, of course I support bringing in refugees and bringing in Syrian refugees. My words were misconstrued and kind of clumsy. I don't want to make any more comments about it. Cranley would not speak to us on camera because he said it's a federal issue anyway and didn't want to add any more to the controversy. He did indicate a rethinking of his position. He has been walking his wording back with various immigration leaders like Margaret Fox of the Metropolitan Area Religious Coalition. Mentioned that uh, none of us are perfect, including him, and uh, that um, he is uh, uh, moving in a different direction regarding the refugee resettlement. He wants it to be a smooth transition. We expect our elected leaders to, to lead the community, to set good examples. Since yesterday's public rebuke from Muslim American leaders, Cranley has reached out to Karen Dabdub, who told us he expressed regret for any harm his words caused and that he was rethinking his stance. From City Hall, he also contacted Catholic Charities, the federally designated resettlement agency for this region. Their spokeswoman describes Cranley's relationship with them as good. They prefer to cite his recent push to make the city the most immigrant friendly in the country, not his words 48 hours ago about not being involved in Syrian resettlement. He now says he used those words in haste. As for what his repair efforts suggest, I think it says that he has integrity. Thirty seconds in the right direction on this issue. Sincerity brings trust she said, and she believes that Cranley conveyed trust and sincerity to her. Reporting live in Clifton, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, thank you. The goal of tonight's meeting is to determine specific ways individuals and groups can help with the resettlement program in this area. And you can stay on top of the developments in Paris and the refugee resettlement debate on the WLWT app.